Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. In the morning. morning. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 minutes into the hour, they are here. They are here. The upper echelon of A&R consultants, music lovers, culture enthusiasts, and straight up ballers in the game. Welcome to the the a oh look at that buckshot from Black Moon just walked in too. Oh, oh, wow. oh wow! Who got the who, who got, got the props? Oh, wow. ah, what up, love one? How you do doing, man? Buckshot. Damn, man! You should have heard them telling me I should cancel you, dude. I said you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Go ahead and jump on the mic, man. Join us, brother. Get him. Get that guy a mic. Get that guy a mic. Enter the stage yeah. over there. Right here we go, yeah. man. Buckshot is here, man. What up, brother? How you been? I've been good, big brother. You, Rich, you, what's you, up? You would let them kick me out like that, Never. Rich? Never. <laughs> Never. I would have came out with you. All right. Yeah, Rich was campaigning it, Buck. He was like, you know what, Sway, man? Y'all cancel bigger artists, man. And then, you know, that was messed up, man. That thing's a legend, Rich. Why you do that? All right, anyway, Buck is here. Buckshot, how you been, man? I've been good, man. I'm, in all, I'm all over the place. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man with 10, 10 fingers. Yes. But 20 arms. Uh-huh. You know, so I'm doing my thing. One of the things Buck was hitting me about that you were really excited about, and I'm excited for you, is the sneaker that you're doing, right? Oh, man. Yes, Talk sir, man. Talk about that, I'm, man. I'm, I'm, I with my man Danny Shaw. What's up, Danny? Big Danny oh, Shaw. Oh, it's the a sneaker right here. Oh, okay. yes, sir. The legendary Danny Shaw. Ooh. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? What's up, world? What's up, everybody out there in the world? Everybody on the Facebook, all my Facebook people. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, got the um the sneakers called the Triple Threat. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We've been working on it for for a little minute, man. Been putting a lot of work into this into this game. It's like getting a a, a, a t shirt line is like sixty bucks. And the shoe line is like 600 racks. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. So 600 racks. My bad. All right, my you, bad. You, you know what? It's interesting you bring this up because I went to this um, Yeezus tour yeah. last night, and Kanye rightfully saw, saw was pointing out the fact that these corporations pretty much have so much power over what we do creatively. Yeah. And, uh, and they typically emulate what we do and make profit off of it. Sometimes they have us, uh, they'll affiliate us to their brand to, to blow their brand up mm -hmm. and then drop us off. Mm -hmm. And the whole time he was saying that, because he was saying that he did the, uh, what, the Louis Vuitton Don, uh, mm -hmm. what, what he did, the sneaker or something yeah. like that. And, yeah. um, and he did something with Marc Jacobs, and, mm -hmm. um, and then Marc Jacobs kind of cut him off, and he kept saying, man, just give me a shot, give me a shot, right? <laughs> And, you know, uh, same thing happened with Lenny Kravis and happened with Pharrell and these guys. And the whole time he was saying this, I was thinking, why you go to them anyway? Why don't why you don't, just do yeah. it yourself? Yeah. And yeah. here you are, Buckshot from Black Moon. <laughs> You're doing it yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm always the one taking the sacrifice for the game. If you think about it, I did that with the label stuff. Yeah, you with, know the, what independent with label. the independent labels. Nobody Duck wanted down. to. Yeah, nobody wanted to. I mean, people had movements. They had the ideas to actually do it. And some people had their own imprint. Yeah. But that's not really like a label. That's not actually being uh, uh, in charge of all the little functions and everything else. So, uh -huh. so, yeah, we did that. And the same thing with the sneakers. Like, if you look around, you got a, every artist got hats, T-shirts, jackets, pants, sweaters, all the stuff that they'll let you have. Yeah. But when it comes to the big, super, super crazy stuff, like actual footwear, that's what they like that's where we draw the line at, baby. Yeah. Because now you're going too far. So now when people like, you know, you know, myself, I, I sit back and I say, you know, nobody's really ready to take on the beast like that. I'm not that's my thing. I'm not afraid of it. And on top of that, I really got inspired by it because true to say, a lot of people was getting shot in the hood over sneakers like i'm just looking at the footwear game and i'm like it's the same old monster that's controlling the machine it's the yeah. same old so everybody getting shot kids getting stabbed all types of stuff going on over sneakers so what we did is we put out i put my all all of my energy into it with my partner danny danny Shaw is actually the brother who brought me into the game you wow. know what i'm saying danny Shaw, it has a long response a long list a long history you know what i'm saying but um he linked I'm, up with um the man, he's the he's actually the manufacturer. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is the difference between having a again a label imprint. That's and like a being shoe. a distributor almost, right? That's actually what we are. Yeah. Quiet as kept. I won't get into the names that we do manufacture for some of the brands that we do because that's you know that's irrelevant. The thing was we kept working with other brands and we said you know what now it's time to do our own and and, and, and then we took it to that level. The triple threat. What's the price point? 
The triple threat, the price point is probably going to be around 75 bucks, maybe somewhere around that price point. Um, not probably over, a little lower. Probably a little lower. Probably a little lower. Yeah, on wow. sale. And because, you know, again, yeah. yo, we put a lot of construction into the shoe. This is not a, sh a hoodie with a piece of a rub on the bottom. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a real shoe that <laughs> performs. And we got a lot of kids all over the high schools that's feeling it. So that's one of the good things about this shoe is that nobody has given us a thumbs down, you, really. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have Tracy G take a photo of four different versions of this shoe, the Triple Threat. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. Uh, and everybody in the room is going to do the same thing and post it on their Instagram. And then when you see this, you repost it and spread the word. We got our own sneaker brand coming out of the hood now. It's called Triple Threat. Yeah. And it looks great. Oh, it looks you see, thank you very man. much. Hold yeah. up, see, and, and some of you guys know, like, y'all know basketball. So, truthfully, honestly, if I had an ankle breaker, y'all yeah. would be the first ones to tell me, like, Buck, this is an ankle breaker. This ain't going nowhere. But a lot of the kids, the young high school kids, performed in it. And I'm not going to lie, I do have to say this it was one of the hardest. What I call battles, but we took it down, y'all. Make sure January 26th, that's the release date of the sneaker. We wow. are in Dr. J. Um, that song we just played, Don't Front, Eminem remade that song. Uh, you guys remixed it. Yeah. Um, and what did what was it like? What, what, what did M say to you, man? What was his words to you when you first, when y'all first saw each other? M called me on a Thursday, and I went out there the next day. Because when he called me the Thursday, I was like, all right, cool. Um, when you want to do it? He was like, tomorrow. <laughs> wow. <damn. laughs> I see him, man. Yeah, I took yeah. back. I said, what? Tomorrow. So I flew out the next day, literally 12 o'clock. Got up there, got to the studio, and uh, we just started vibing and, and just wilding out. You know what I'm saying? See, I know Elm is, is, is a hip-hop enthusiast and historian. Like, yeah. him and I talked about this song. I'll tell you what he said afterwards. But <laughs> I also know I'm sure he asked you questions, like, about just Black Moon, Duck Down, just... What did he ask you? <laughs> I mean, um, surprisingly, we was talking about a probably you know a lot of other crazy stuff like video games and all types of other stuff. Believe it or not, video um, games. Yeah, he got a room. He got a, a a studio, and in his studio, he has all the video games that came out back in the eighties, and mm -hmm. um, some of them was some of like my, my, my favorite, like Donkey Kong and all that stuff. But anyway, um, uh, he he didn't really get into that, but what we did get into was how a lot of people didn't know that he was gonna sign. Cause I didn't know that he wrote that that lyric in the rhyme when uh, he when he played it for me. Yeah, my my child I was like, what the? You know what I'm saying? That because he, he was gonna he could, could finish your thought yeah, that he was gonna sign that he was gonna sign the duck down your label. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, on the record he gave a shout out to Drew High. And gave a shout out to myself and said before he signed with the doc, he was supposed to sign with Duck Down. So that was a big, big, big respect yeah. for me because, again, I respect him as an artist and as an MC. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And as an entrepreneur. Think about it. Shade 4-5. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is this is the mind of a, any person that's creative has the mind of a businessman in that sense that's really going for it. So I respect people like Eminem, you know what I'm saying? Dre, you know what I'm saying? All the people that make big business moves but still to keep their creative light. I have a lot of respect for that because that's, yeah. that's you know. And you got to think his manager and attorney <clears throat> Paul Rosenberg, too, has been by his side since day one. Yeah, big up uh -huh. Paul. Big up Drew Hot. Been by my side from day, day one. one. Me again, thing. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Real, recognized, real. I got my King Tech, man. Same <laughs> thing, right? There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, Tyrese in North Carolina. Say what up to Buckshot. Hey, yo, what's up, Buck? This is Tyrese, man. I don't know if you remember me. You should. But anyway, man, I just want to say what's up, man. Uh, come, uh, represent Coney Allen. And uh, just got a little story, man. I remember we was on a three train just back in the days when you was trying to get on, bro. And you was talking to, uh, you was telling me about talking Brother J from X Clan. Wow. Wow. Word. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's ill. Yeah, Brother J uh, was remember? my man. Yeah, but at first he was trying to front on you, man. And you know, you was just saying how he thought you was trying to diss him by saying that his joint was whack, but it wasn't. You was just trying to let him know. That you know you was just coming out and you had some flavor that you wanted him to hit, uh, that you wanted him to hear. <laughs> but anyway, man, I just want to say peace, man. Uh, calling, you know, I'm calling from Fort Bragg, but I'm representing Coney Allen. That's what's you know what up, mean? man. All right, my man, with that, I mean, to you 20 years. <laughs> and that's what you want to say to Buck? I mean, really? Nah. Remember, remember that <laughs> train ride <laughs> on a three train? I still, I, how about this? I I still ride the train. Okay, so number one, <laughs> and my man Rich, remember when we was Black Moon on the uprise? So how about that? Yeah, and that's that. when 
That's yeah, right. Yeah, Black yeah. woman, all right. And I still got my green hoodie with 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 my name, my name tag in the back, KB two. Wow. That's right, because KB1 was 5FT. There it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're, you're listening to Sway in the morning on Shade 45.